on day one, and if you're, again, familiar with it, we treat them like rock stars, which means in the day one, uh, we go through and we feed them peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. On day two, they got bologna, ham, and turkey sandwiches. On day three, they got Little Caesars pizza. So we got a little better. And then uh, today, we fed them Napoli's. And now, uh, Napoli, uh, uh, he does a great job. Mommy uh, goes through and just loads us up with food and hands it right over and says, hey, uh, good job. Thanks for doing what you do. So I want to give a big round of applause for the polies, if you will, please. Uh, this year, as you can see, the stage is heavily dated or heavily decorated with PV. PV is a big sponsor this year. They have gone through and, and take care of all the T-shirts for us this year. So we went to a local printer, had their logo put on our logo, and then a fancy front and everything. So PV is a huge sponsor for us this year, and we're excited. It means it's, it's a big thing to get a sponsor. That's part of being in a band is hopefully when you're on tour, you get a sponsor. And uh, so we are sponsored by PV today. So by PV. Um, they did, uh, but we do thank them for their support and everything they've done for us. Uh, I gotta say thanks to the instructors this week. We had uh, three instructors along with myself. My name's Chad, by the way. Hi. Um, and uh, but first of all, we had uh, Corey Delp. He's running sound, and uh, he was helping uh, Beehive uh, Jive is one of the bands today, and so uh, he was helping out. Uh, Ty Anderson. He was helping out Empty Rebellion. That's a band that you see coming up. And uh, and then we had uh, a really cool instructor who decided that <laughs> Mr. Asmus. If you can see that, that's pretty cool. It just keeps getting better. <laughs> so that's Mr. Adam Asmus. He was helping out fried chicken on a string. I got it right. Okay, if you, the funny joke about fried chicken on a string is I did concert posters every day, and every day I messed up their name, and I tried so hard. And I did do that on purpose, actually. I truthfully messed up their name every day. Until today, I got it right. So, uh, yes, that's uh, Mr. Aspis helped out with there, and then myself, too. So, and we did help out kind of with each other's bands, trying to bring in ideas and such. So, you saw them uh, throughout the week. Um, this is, uh, we went back to rock band, dates back to 2007 is when we first started. When we first started doing camp, you saw some of the pictures. We were over at uh, Norfolk Catholic in Burns Hall, was where our concert was. And so we actually were there for a couple years, and then for a couple years we went to the middle school and uh, were there, which they did great. Uh, they let us use that building, and uh, it was great. And then once we got the new store over to here, uh, we had all the room in the world to be able to put in uh, rock band camp. So uh, we're excited to be here in the store now for a few years, so, and we'll continue that once we grow, grow, grow. And uh, then we'll maybe go to Johnny Carson or something. We'll see. Uh, but uh, anyways... The second thing, too, that's been happening is uh, the kids do rock band camp, and I've gathered a lot of interest from parents to have an adult rock band camp. Yeah. Is there any hands out there? Who would be interested if they could do an adult rock band? Now, come on. Raise your hand. Yes. Okay. We have some interest in that. I've had people come up to me and say, man, that'd be really cool. Now, we know you can't give up a whole week and do that, but we are going to look into doing a, uh, an adult group and where you come for once a week for so many weeks and then we go do a show somewhere uh, so we're going to look into that in the future uh, we'd like to uh, encourage people to continue to play those who are young and those of us who are young at heart so uh, we want to keep playing um, we're also going to look at it maybe in an elite group we've talked about this a little bit having a youngsters group uh, Wednesdays Norfolk gets out at two o'clock so it'd be great to put together maybe a rock band and, and they they form a band and go on. So that's kind of the thing we'd like to do is continue on uh, with Norfolk is growing bands. Uh, you're also going to see us out. We've had it for a couple times. We've done Jam Night. Uh, jam Night was a really big thing back in Norfolk back in the day at City Limits and that. And was packed every Thursday night. And they did Jam Night. So we're starting to bring Jam Night back sponsored by Midwest Music Center. So we go out to a club. We bring the stuff. We set up and. If you're a musician, you are encouraged to come. And it's a jam. It's not, you know, we're going to play this song, this song, this song. It's, a, hey, we're jamming in A. Blues. Go. And uh, we play. So it's a good time. So please look that out on Facebook. You'll see us post that. Uh, I believe the next one we're going to do is over to the office bar. Uh, if you, uh, I just got word the other day that Franklin's Bistro is going to start doing music also here in town. So uh, he was ecstatic to see if we could do something like that over there. So look for that in the future. Um, 
We're going to take a moment, kind of get the stage set up for lights and all that, and let uh, the first band kind of get set on stage, and then we're going to kick things off. So just give us a moment to get set, and we'll be ready to go. 